Hey guys, welcome back. Today's interesting topic is about full adder in CMOS logic. So today we are going to design a full adder in CMOS logic. So before going to that CMOS logic, can you please subscribe to my channel so that we can get connected? And if you have any doubts, leave a comment. I will answer as fast as possible. So without any further delay, let's go into CMOS logic. So before going to CMOS logic, I will be discussing about full adder. As you know, full adder will have three inputs A, B, and C. Okay, so A, B, and C. A, B is C in is a carry, and we have two outputs of full adder, and the outputs are sum and carry out. Okay, I hope you know this one. So, this is full adder. So, I'm gonna take uh, possible combinations of A, B, and C in and get the output of S and C out for each combination and draw a K map and get the equations right now. So these are possible combinations of A, B and C in. So you got three inputs. So possible combination is two part three. Okay, eight possible combinations. So let's find out the sum. So sum is, so sum I'm gonna calculate A plus B is zero, plus zero is zero, zero plus zero is again zero. So sum is 0, carry out is 0. So again a plus b 0, b plus and 0 plus 1 is 1 for the sum and carry out 0. 0 plus 1, 1 plus 0 is 1 and carry out is 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 for sum and carry is 1. Okay, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. So carry out is 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1 and again sum is 0 carry out is 1 so sum is 0 carry out is 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 is sum is 1 and carry out is 1 so you got the sum and output all we need to do is to uh, take it from this and draw k map and get the equations i hope you can do that k map let's go for k map so you draw the k map like this a b c in so we got the once over here and on these places so i think you can draw k map and figure out the one so we will get s equals to a x or b x or c okay since all of them are in odd odd places zero zero one okay zero one zero one zero zero and triple one so that is a x or b x or c if you want the individual uh, bits i'm gonna write it for you so on solving you might get a, B, a bar b bar c plus this remaining three terms which is nothing but is equal to a x or b x or c now let's go for uh, c out so c out is similar to this okay let's go for it so this is c out so we got the equations so we am rounding up this three of them so from this we can say it is AB plus BC plus CA. Okay, this is the expression for C out. This is called as majority equation. Majority equation. Okay, don't forget its name. It might be someone someone might use it. What is majority equation? So this is C out. So okay, AB plus BC plus CA. I'm gonna modify it a little bit. I'm going to take C in common from both of it. Okay, C out equals to AB plus C in into A plus B. Okay, I got my expression for C out. I got my expression for sum. So now I'm going to draw first for C out and using the C out, I'm going to uh, draw sum. So this will be reducing my number of transistors. So let's go for C out first. So before going to C out, I want you to know some basics about CMOS. So this is CMOS. So CMOS circuit will look like this. So it will have a pull up network that is consists of PMOS and pull down network which consists of NMOS. So whatever input we give, that will be in complement form. So that is called, that is the main reason which is called complementary metal oxide. So input will be complemented at the output. So uh, it would be better for you to start out with this if NMOS so NMOS will be in parallel when 
it is plus and n MOSFETs will be in series when it is product okay so and its opposite case for p mos when it's plus it's series when it's product it's parallel so these are few important things which you need to remember uh, for drawing the cmos logic now let's go for cmos logic for c out so as you can see c out consists of a b plus c in and a plus b into a plus b now i'm going to draw first is c n mos and after n mos i'll be going with p mos so first let's draw our vdd and vss so this is vdd and this is vss so n mos a dot b it's in series okay and plus they are in parallel this equation and this equations are in parallel so first let's con concentrate on a into b so this will be in series to each other so this is a sorry this is not there okay then this is b so now we got a and b now it should be in parallel to this equation so c in is in series with a plus b so first we'll draw a plus b that means both are in parallel a and this is b now, now it should be in series with c in so there you got our n mos is done okay this is our n mos p mos will be exactly opposite to it since it's series over here that will be parallel in here since it's parallel it will be in series and c in and c in are should, they will be in parallel and this will be in series let's draw so i'm going to draw first a and b so a and b will be here series over here so they will be in parallel so don't forget the bubble p must have the invert option for the input so a and b are in parallel there you go so now c in and a plus b are in parallel so I'll draw C in over here. So A plus B is in parallel over here. It will be in series over here. So A is here, B is here. Don't forget bubble C in. So there you go, we got our C out bar as output. We got C out bar as output. Um, for some, you can go with A XOR plus B XOR plus C. But that will be a lengthy process and we will have more number of transistors. So what, to, what can we do to reduce the number of transistors? is that we can use the C out okay C out bar for the input of S so that we can reduce the number of transistors as a result it will be easier for us to draw it so I'm gonna take consider reconsider the diagram of what whatever the truth table I have taken as you can see this is the truth table which we have figured it out so I'm just changing C out to C out bar and I will consider it as an input for S as the output and we will change the sum equation. The overall equation will be AXOR plus BXOR plus C in, but I'm using C out as one of the input for the sum. So let's go and check how it's done. So I have made a small changes. So there's nothing changed in previous truth table and current truth table. All changes in C out, I have turned it in C out bar. So from this a, b, c, in and c out bar, I'm going to derive some equation. So for here, you can see it c into c out bar. For this one, c into c out bar. So we can write c in. So and from for this, it is b into c out bar. b into c out bar. And for, for this, it is a into c out bar. And now here it is a b and c n for this one 
for this one and for this one. now all we need to add this up and this is our new sum equation so our sum equation has turned into something like this c in into c out bar plus b into c out bar plus a into c out bar plus a plus b plus c in so now c out bar can be taken out from this three terms and it will be like this a plus b plus c into c out bar plus a plus b plus c so this is our new new equation and I will be drawing the CMOS logic for this equation because we got the C out so number of transistors will be less number of transistors will be less that's the main reason which we are doing okay in the previous case you might get uh, around 5 to 10 more transistors but now because of using the C out bar as the input of S we will be getting a lot more or less yeah, if you want the proof go substitute C out bar that is you know a b plus b c plus c a whole bar and simplify the equations then you will get exactly a xor plus b xor plus c you need not worry the equation is similar but the form has changed that's it nothing is different so a plus b plus c in into c out bar plus a b c in is equals to a xor plus b xor c all you need to do is substitute this equation and simplify so now let's go for cmos logic of sum so I'm I'm drawing VDD and VSS. So we got C out. Come, don't forget we got C out. So I'm gonna draw ABC in plus C out, A plus B plus C in. Okay, don't forget this C out already we got. It's C out bar. Okay, it's C out bar. And let's draw it. So we got C out input. Now ABC in are in series for n MOS, A, B, and C. These are our three inputs A, B and C. That's done. Now for C out bar. C out bar is in series with A plus B plus C. So first we'll draw A plus B plus C. They will be in parallel. So there you go. This is B. This is A. So this is A plus B plus C in NMOS okay so this is an extra line don't care about it okay don't care about this extra line this is not there so now we have C out bar as the input so this is C out bar so we are C out bar we are considering from the previous output and now let's go for PMOS PMOS is exactly opposite to it so this will be in series in the series over here it will be parallel over here and a plus b plus c in parallel so i'm gonna draw a plus b plus c so as you can see c out bar is in parallel with a b and c in over here so this is in pmos don't forget that pmos will have a bubble okay now this e this equation is in parallel with the this equation so now it will be in series in pmos so let's make it in series so since these are in series now we'll need to make it in parallel so let's draw it them in parallel in PMOS that is A that's for B and that's for C so now let's join them there you go A B and C in okay as you know that output will be some bar don't forget the output will be some bar we need to give it to a inverter so inverter will look like this VDD and ground so this is our sum okay this is our sum and C out bar also we need to give it to an inverter okay don't forget that we need to give it to an inverter once again so that we can get the output C out correctly so there you go we get our C out bar and C out and sum so I hope you have understood how to draw C out and sum with the reduced number of transistors 
if you don't use this equation you know if you don't use this equation sum equals to a b plus a b c plus c or bar into a plus b plus c in then you will have a large number of transistors than it i'm sure that you will have a greater number of transistors than it and it will be confusing for you to draw a xor plus b xor plus c because you have this many terms you need to have it will be a big circuit trust me so xor plus b xor plus c will be a bigger than this equation what we got when simplifying using c out bar so the important point of this uh, whole video is that you need to reduce it okay reducing the number of transistors i hope you get the everything i hope you have learned something from this video so don't forget that uh, to subscribe so thanks for watching so this is the total picture as you can see this is the total um, uh, diagram you can see and you can take a snapshot of it right now if you want so this is c out bar from that we'll get c out and from some bar we'll get some um, thanks for watching and please do subscribe it will help me a lot and we will get connected don't forget to comment down below how is this video and thanks for watching please do subscribe